Hi guys, it's Cassie with Harlow's Earth. Welcome to week 10 of our prenatal yoga video series. So here we are, week 10, feeling pregnant, right? Hopefully you're feeling good still, or maybe you're starting to feel better. We're working our way out of the first trimester. If you're like me, you're counting down the weeks because the nausea and exhaustion have been intense, right? But hey, we're all in this together. This is part of our online community. So we're going to go ahead and get started with a great practice today. Lots of flexibility in our, in our practice for 10 weeks. So here we are in beautiful nature. I'm bringing the nature in to you guys, wherever you may be watching this. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Find a nice spot to sit, sitting up nice and tall. Let's relax. Take your right hand on your heart, left hand on your growing baby, and start to breathe. That same breathing pattern we've been working on. So fill up your belly, fill up your chest, and then exhale out your chest, exhale out your belly. Continue that same breathing pattern, nice and slowly in through the nose and out through the mouth. Go at your own pace. Don't feel rushed, take your time. This is your moment to really connect with your growing baby. Take your hands to heart now in prayer. Take a deep breath in and exhale to the right side, just creating a small twist in the upper back. Back through center, inhale. Exhale, reach to the left. See if you can give your neck a little bit of a twist as you exhale side to side. Inhale forward, exhale left side. Good. Last one, here we go. Big exhale. Inhale back through center. All right, go ahead and take those hands out to the side. Reach your arms up with an inhale. Fingers touch. Exhale, reach them back out. Drop your head to your chest. Inhale, look up, eyes to the sky. Exhale, reach away from you and down towards your mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, down. Good, again. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, feeling good. All right, come on onto all fours now. Go ahead and tuck those toes underneath you and sit back on your heels if you can. Grab onto the heels and simply look up. If you feel good there, you can go ahead and take it a bit deeper by placing your palms on the mat, fingers facing the toes. Lift the heart up to the sky, neck releases. Big breathing here as we open our chest. Exhaling, coming back over. Good, hands come back down, untuck those toes on all fours. So knees are under the hips, wrists are right below the shoulders. Good, exhale, round the spine up to the center. Inhale, drop it down. Exhale, cow, keep finding a roundness. 
Inhale, drop through cat, belly button drops to the floor. Keep going, find that ebb and flow with your breath. Feeling like a goddess, right? As you exhale, think about really hugging your baby. Let's take it side to side. Going laterally stretching. Good, back through to center. Come on down to your elbows. Good, we're gonna tuck the toes and come up here to a dolphin pose. It's okay if your knees can't go straight here. It's okay to keep a bend in them. Trying to open up the back here. Really stretching and opening the shoulders. Kick your right leg up if you're able to. Keep flexing through the foot. Lengthening that left leg. It's work, you got it, drop it down. Switch it up, left leg, heel rises, flexing deeply the left foot. Hips stay square to the ground and drawing it back down. Knees drop back down, come on back up to the hands, tuck your toes under, downward dog. Never been so happy to get to down dog, right? Dolphin pose can be some work. Good, let's kick the right leg up and bring it right between the hands. As we lift up into high lunge, arms lift up toward the sky. Take your eyes up to the sky if you're able to, if you can keep that balance. And opening up to warrior two. Front, face is, front foot still forward, back foot is facing the side. Shoulders drop away from the ears. We're gonna just change our feet. So the right foot faces the front, the left foot faces the side as we sit down in our lunge. Lifting up that right heel, you can come down a little bit deeper if this feels comfortable to you. Otherwise you can stay up higher. Trying to keep that balance, not just sitting on the hip, but lifting out of it. Good, let's come back out of it, lifting back up through warrior two, right foot faces the front. Good, shifting back through to high lunge, both feet face the front of the mat, arms up by the ears. And coming up through warrior three, so you're gonna push onto that right leg and then lever yourself back up. Another option is just to come back up to standing. Exhale the swan dive over. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rolling up the spine gently. Inhale the arms up last, exhale swan dive over, <clears throat> inhale half lift, exhale forward fold. Good, this time taking your right foot back, left foot forward, bring those arms up into high lunge again, both feet face the front, hips are facing forward. Good, from here, find warrior two. Good, front foot faces the front, back foot faces the side. Hips are level, shoulders are level. Breathing. And moving just the feet to opposite position so we can come over our left side for a lunge. Again, you can stay here or lift up the heels and draw down. It's entirely up to you if you want to hold on to a chair or piece of furniture, you could as well. Mindfully breathing as we come back up, back through warrior two.
back through warrior one and into high lunge. Good, we're gonna shift our weight over the front foot through to warrior three. Reach that back foot back, arms reach forward and lever yourself back up to standing. Wonderful. Big reach, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Rolling up mindfully. Good, reach those arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Very nice, again, big reach. Inhale. And we're gonna grasp those hands together, stretching over to the right, pointers face up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, opposite side. Big reach. Enjoy the stretch, find your breath. Good, switch up your fingers and interlacing them the opposite way. And exhale back over to the side. Reach. Great. Exhale those arms back down. Good. Bring those feet apart so they're right underneath the hips. Pull those shoulders back, palms face forward as we come into mountain pose. Soften your gaze and start to connect to the earth. Imagine that you are a tree and you have deep, deep, deep roots. You are connected. You are part of this whole place. I do that natural breath. to the earth, step back into downward facing dog and drop those knees so we can sit back to child pose, opening the knees. Take a big breath from the base of your spine, traveling up the spine through the crown of the head, opening the ribs. Taking those hands together in prayer and giving yourself a little neck massage. Bend at the elbows. Good, drop those arms back down. Come on back up to the front of your mat. Sit back so we can recline all the way down to the earth. When you're ready, go ahead and finding that comfortable resting position off to one side. Take time to find this. We're gonna sit here for a few minutes and really let your mind turn off any part of the day that you're focusing on that's interrupting you, just let it go. Let your mind refocus on just the breath, letting your hips and your knees release, your toes and your elbow and your shoulders. Your eyes are soft. Bringing your awareness just to your breath.
beginning to wiggle those fingers and toes as we are present once again. Coming back up to seated position when you're ready. Taking those hands to your heart. Saying a prayer of gratefulness for this practice, for being present today, for our growing, beautiful child within us, and for this beautiful community. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here this week. We'll see you next week.